Welcome, lovely LinkedIn family, sending you my love into your world. Recently, I had a very interesting question and in one of the groups that I am engaging with in Spiral Dynamics, which I love. And the question was, Patrick, what is your subject? And I just could breathe because I really didn't know what is my subject. Yes, I used to lecture at university a whole range of subjects, but what is my subject? So I went on a deeper journey on that because I felt it might be interesting. And I wanted to share videos with you here on LinkedIn since we are back in paradise. So what came through for me eventually is uh, my subject is vital, transpersonal and trans worlding education relational participatory journeys and explorations now i know this is a big mouthful but if we want to cut it down and make it simple i would like to call these series here of um, videos breaking free beyond matter that is maybe the essence of it all and today I want to tell you the story of breaking free beyond matter. And a story that is obviously related to part of this vital transpersonal and transworlding education and journey that I am on and that I'm happy to guide you and journey with you and bridge and explore together with you. So this is the first set of breaking free beyond matter. So I'm not saying matter doesn't exist. I am not saying it's not part of a whole. It's more or less the opposite. I'm saying, yes, there is matter, but it's not all. And for me, when I'm only matter, I'm just not alive. Because matter is often dead. So the word vital and vitality, they add for me that flavor of life. So if we are looking into that breaking beyond matter, we are looking at the causal world, the world of cause and effect. This is like that because you are like that because your parents are like that. You are a statistic because this is where you come from. You are so damaged because of your childhood. And when we're breaking free of that causal, of that reductionist mindset, we open up to a world of synchronicity, of spirit, you may say, of a quantum space. This is what we're here for today. And over these next weeks that I'm sharing this with you, as, as long as it lasts and as long as you are enjoying it. So let me begin with one of these explorations. Let me begin with none of this breaking free. When I was a child, I was very much into music and possibly if you would have asked me my favorite profession would have been musician. But of course, musician was a certain journey. I went to music school until the end of college, obviously. But to become a professional musician or a music teacher didn't come to me. I played the clarinet, I played the accordion, I sung, and I loved it so much. But yet, there was a lot of cause and effect situations that wasn't given to me. I wasn't maybe really made of being that extraordinary musician out there. And I wouldn't really know if I would have become a jazz musician or a classical musician or... I didn't know. But over time, and this is when we're breaking free, I continue playing this clarinet. I continued singing and one day came pentatonic flutes to me and pentatonic instruments. And this is 
part of that breaking free beyond matter, I went on a journey and a path of the air, the element of air. And of course, sound is an element of, in the element of air. We can hear it in the air. Like we can hear the sound of the jungle. So we can hear the sound waves of music. So here I am, a sound artist. I don't know, is that a label that is necessary when we're breaking free of matter? So let me take you on a little bit of sound of that, of that air, the path of the air that helps us to break free. Everyone can play it. So what has changed? I went from playing according to notes and the knowledge that I had acquired to pick up an instrument and just flow. I didn't become the musician in whatever fame or short, uh, short form. I allowed music to play me, sound to come into my life. And often not for myself and my own pleasure, but often to share. Share with those who could relate to that sound. That sound would bring healing to me. That sound would help to relax. So now I don't have any notes. And often I don't even think about what scale I'm in or what tone my flute is on. I just allow the sound to come out. So let me share that with you. How did it feel to you? I didn't play according to the notes. I wasn't focusing on doing it right. I wasn't worried about the rhythm or the count. While this is all beautiful, I just stepped beyond that written matter of sound and music. So what happens if you do that in your world and if you step on that path of the air? What is the sound that you play? Are you humming? Are you singing? How does sound come into your life? Do you enjoy it or do you produce it? What difference does it make in your world? Now, the path of air has many different areas, of course. And another one is the voice, the language. The language only is really able to create something through voice, of course, unless we speak sign language. But even though the sign language is kind of an airy thing, so many things are in the territory of air and much medicine comes from there when we step beyond that matter and allow air to come through. Another medicine of air, of course, is the breath. It's beautiful to learn pranayama and all these beautiful breath that truly liberate us and help us. But it's when we step beyond, we really enjoy the breath. 
So breaking free beyond matter takes us into a place of wholeness. Breaking free beyond matter takes us out of the preconditioned, the predestined, the causal and the causes of what we expect to be the result or the outcome. When I play these flutes, when I play the drums or whatever comes to me, what is it? I'm allowing sound to inspire me, to take this wave into the world. I'm not looking for a cause and effect. I'm just allowing the sound to be. How does it feel to you? Can I inspire something for you today? Can you imagine? Do you remember a time in your life or right now when you're breaking free beyond matter in this area of, of sound and, and air and also of story, another beautiful medicine? What is it like when you come into relation with sound. When you become part of the story. And when you simply allow it to happen. Yes, because I hit these balls, we get the sound. But the sound is much more than that. There is a magic in the sound. It talks to the birds and to you. Sometimes cause and effect cannot be separated, cannot be seen apart, but together. Maybe the treasures lie beyond the matter, beyond. a ball. So I want to leave you with this for today. Some inspiration, some food for an open mind and an open heart. Thank you for listening to this. Very curious how it comes in your way. So please write some comments or send me a personal message. Thank you so much for being here. And again, let me send you my love into your world.